Love not in word, neither in tongue, but in deed. If you do love, then your love is supposed to be shown through your actions. And you can't love, nobody can love you. Let me make this, oh, let me make this absolutely clear. Because, you know, there's a, there's a misconception with love. Okay. Nobody can love you. They cannot love you. Do y'all understand? Nobody can love you. I ain't finished the sentence, so don't tell me you understand what I'm saying. I'm like, do y'all understand? They'd be like, <laughs> I, I got, let me finish the sentence. Nobody can love you. They cannot love you if they do not love God. You believe in a lie. They lying to you. They lying to you. They lying to you. They gonna profess. I love you. I love. But if you don't love God, how can how can you? How can you love me? The same. It's, it's vice versa. It, it, it goes both ways. You can't say you love God. Y'all with me? You a liar. The scriptures tell, the Bible tell, God tell, you cannot say you love God if you don't love your brother. The God, God looks at that as an insult to him. He said, how are you going to say you love me whom you have never seen? But the one I made look like me, as far as you know, that was made in my image. You would kill him. You hate him. Now, what if I show up looking just like him? You going to hate me too? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes, you will. The scripture says we was made in the image of God, okay? The Lord will show up looking like everybody you hate. You be sitting up there. <gasps> <sighs> That's why the second commandment, the second greatest commandment is like the first. It's almost identical. They're synonymous. They're connected. They're intertwined. So all that hatred of believers, <laughs> all that choking and all that stuff. <laughs> I see people getting deep thought. Here, again, how does this start off? Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. When the Spirit is talking, it reaches multitudes of people. Tell them where you're at. St. John chapter 6. Everybody go to the book of St. John chapter 6. And we're going to read verse, we're going to start at verse 28. St. John chapter 6, verse 28. Read, then said they unto him. Read on. What shall we do that we might work the works of God? You see, this, this is not something that's new. This is not everybody that was, that knew that they um, uh, that they wanted to make it. They knew that they had to do the work of God in order to make it. They all knew that. Only a fool think God is going to reward you for nothing. You're a complete fool. From way back, they asking these questions. What must we do to do the works of God? Read on. Jesus answered and said unto them. Read on. This is the work of God. Read on. That you believe on him whom he have sent. Yeah, it starts with that. It starts with being a believer. It starts believing in Jesus Christ. Now, with believing in Jesus Christ comes what? All kind of instructions. It ain't just believing in Jesus Christ. Don't end there. Now he, he tell you, damn, I want you to do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. Now it's time to work. Let's give another under, let's get another understanding or said another way. Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19. You got people being deceived. None of the wicked understanding still swear that they're going to get heaven. Even though they have abandoned God. Abandoned the commandments, not keeping the Sabbath. Doing what they want to do rather than what God is telling you to do. Right? What did I call for? Matthew chapter 19. Matthew chapter 19. We're going to start at verse 16. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. 
Read it. And behold, one came and said unto him, Read on. Good master. Read on. What good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Okay, so this is an action word, okay? I got to do something. What must we do to work the works of God? What, am I, what do I need to do to inherit eternal life? Read on. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. So he was giving the credit back to God the Father saying that he wasn't saying he's not good. He's saying his goodness is of the one that's good, which is God the Father. Read on. But if thou wilt enter into life. Now, well, now look at this. If thou wilt do what? Enter into life. When the mystery of God shall be finished. If thou wilt do what? Enter into life. When the seventh angel shall begin to sound. If thou shalt do what? Enter into life. What must you do? Read. Keep the commandments. You see that? How do people believe that they're going to get out? They're going to get this without this. Willfully breaking the commandments of God. Now look at, look at what Christ did here. Keep the commandments. Read on. He said unto him, which? He said we got a bunch of commandments. Okay? The Lord got something for that. He done summed up all the commandments. Okay. Then Christ is going to stand up there all day and just go through the whole book of Deuteronomy and Leviticus. <laughs> If it was necessary, he would have did it. But it was summed up. It was briefed. Read on. Jesus said, thou shalt do no murder. See that? Thou shalt do no murder. That's the sixth commandment. Thou shalt do no murder. Let's just go through it. Read on. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not commit adultery. The seventh commandment. Go ahead. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not steal. The eighth commandment. Go ahead. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not bear false witness. The ninth commandment. Go ahead. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. The fifth commandment. Go ahead. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, which is the second greatest commandment, which is not in the list of the ten commandments. Read on. The young man said unto okay, him. so listen, he lists those particular commandments. There's others in the list of ten. That wasn't ten. But he listed those particular ones. Why? Because during that time, the Israelites that was living during that time, these are the main ones that they were breaking. The other ones, they had those ones down packed. Notice on that list, remember, it's not, notice on that list is not remember the Sabbath day and keep, to keep it home. You know why? Israel was keeping the Sabbath. During the time of Christ, with the temple, Judah and Jerusalem, there was not one found not keeping the Sabbath during that time. But they was found in somebody else's bed, okay? <laughs> they didn't get that adultery under control, okay? So the Lord was pointing out the stuff that they was having issues with that was going to keep that generation out of the kingdom of God. This is coming from the mouth of Christ. These commandments, these commandments that's being broken will keep you out of the kingdom of God. Let's look at it, let's look at it again. Verse 18, read it again. He said unto him, which read on Jesus said read on thou shalt do no murder yeah, the hatred for each other <laughs> there was gangsters and thugs in the Roman Empire <laughs> among the nation of Israel there was all kind of groups radical okay don't care we'll stab you in a minute no regard for the life of an Israelite as sacred like in this kingdom we're living in now no regard that this, this person was made in the image of God you can't just take that person's life I got Satan sitting over there. The fear of God is stopping me from saying, get out. <laughs> so they were murdering. How you know they were murdering? The Lord, the Lord had to even change a commandment. Okay, he said, listen, okay, say that now. An eye for an eye. You know, listen, leave that alone. Because these cats was going for vengeance. What they did, what did you look at? I'm getting my peoples. <laughs> he ain't going to stop until we got his eye. <laughs> Christ came back and said, what, what was the teaching from Jesus? Love your enemy. Bless them that per Because of the hatred that was going on among them. 
So he pointed out the things that they had problems with, saying, if you continue to have this problem and break the commandment of God, you will not enter into heaven. You will not get eternal life. 